So, guys, then we got this bad boy right here. Okay, so we're supposed to prove that 2n plus, n plus 2 is never a divisor of 1 to the power of k plus 2 to the power of k plus 3 all the way up to n to the power of k when n and k are natural numbers and k is odd. So this might seem really difficult. And I would actually say that this is a quite difficult uh, problem. But there's a really nice trick that we can use. And it is the fact that if k is odd, there is a formula for this part uh, right here. Well, not specifically this part right here, but we'll work our way up there. So the formula that we want to use is the fact that uh, x to the power of n plus y to the power of n can be written as x plus y times the sum of where k ranges from 0 to n minus 1 should be uh, 1, yeah. yeah should. k ranges from 1 to is, uh, n minus 1 times minus 1, so it should be 0, minus 1 to the power of k times x to the power of k times y to the power of n minus 1 minus k. Yes, exactly. So essentially, what, what is this part right here? Okay, so we have just um, y to the power of n minus 1 minus x times y to the power of n minus 2 and so forth. Maybe you've seen the, the case for uh, when you have 3s here. It, so then you have just like, okay, x3 plus y3 is equal to x plus y times x squared minus xy plus uh, y squared. So this is the exact same thing, just in the case when n is equal to 3. So yeah, how are we going to use this, this trick? But firstly, we need to change some, some things. Okay, so we will start with our s here. And we will rewrite our s in a very smart way. So we'll keep the first one, and then we flip the entire order. So we start at n to the power of k plus n minus 1 to the power of k plus all the way down to... Uh, 2 to the power of k. And then, because we haven't changed anything, we can just write that 2s is equal to our normal s plus this um, the way of writing s. So then we just have, uh, well, 1 to the power of k is just 1. So just a 2. And then we kind of think about like grouping these together. So what do we have then? Okay, we have 2 to the power of k plus n to the power of k. And then we have 3 to the power of k and we have n minus 1 to the power of k, and so on, all the way that we, the, the orders get flipped, basically, because the start of this is the same as the end of that, so then we'll just get, eventually we'll just get n minus 1 to the power of k, plus 3 to the power of k, plus uh, n to the power of k, plus 2 to the power of k. Sorry if you can't really see, but I'm writing the same thing here, just in the opposite order. And for this, obviously, we need to assume that n is, is, greater, is uh, greater than or equal to 2, I think. Uh, maybe we even need to say that it's greater than 2 for this argument to work. But you can just check those cases and it obviously works. So now, now we can use this trick here. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, we can, we can factorize n 2 to the power of k plus n to the power of k, since k is odd as 2 plus n times this whole thing there. And for this one, we can do the same thing. Okay, so now x is 3 and y is n minus 1. So then we have 3 plus n minus 1, which is also n plus 2. So therefore, we know that this whole thing... Um, okay, wait, I'm just going to like close this off here and then continue over here. Uh, so then this thing here, we can say with that all of these terms here all the way over here, all the way to the end, can be factorized as n plus 2 times something. And that is precisely what we're trying to show that it's never divisible by. So therefore, we know that when we take the modulus uh, of uh, n plus 2, all of these disappears, and we just get a 2 left. And since n is larger than 0, a uh, the residue, re the remainder 2, with modulo n plus 2 is, of course, never divisible. So that was the proof. And I fully understand that this might seem like uh, something I just pull out of a hat. Um, and it kind of is. It's just like one of those things that you have to like know that, oh, it's nice often times. Oh, sorry, 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 wait, we're not done yet. 
I am so sorry. Yes, we know that 2s with division by n plus 1, n plus 2 is equal to 2, and therefore uh, we must also state, we can obviously state that then, of course, s is not divisible by n plus 2. Because if it, if it were, if s was divisible by n plus 2, then of course 2s would also be divisible by n plus 2. So this uh, can never be the case. So I didn't even write anything more. I had just had to say it. Uh, so yes, as I said, uh, something seemingly uh, I just pulled out of a hat. Um, and it kind of is. I can't really say anything more. I'm sorry. But yeah, hope you appreciated the video anyway. Uh, and um, yeah, check out the link in the description. And I will see you some other time. Bye-bye.